next What's week. up, everybody? You already know who it is. It's true. God, Daryl. No, I'm coming at y'all with another. No. In today's video, I want to talk about some NBA news and some NBA um, rumors that's been going around in the NBA media. And that is that Andre Drummond might be getting bought out. And once he get bought out, the Lakers are interested. Now, y'all already know that I'm a Lakers fan. And with that, I just want to speak on what I think or how I think Andre Drummond coming to the Lakers, if he does, would affect the team and would it help or hurt the team or anything like that. But with that, let's go on to the stats. Y'all know I like to bring up the stats and everything like that before I really just give my personal opinion. But wait, 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 wait. Before I even go to these stats, I seen a rumor saying that the Nets might get this man. And please, for the love of God, man, please don't let these, these, let the Nets get them, man. Get him, man. Dude, they literally already got Harden. They already got Blake. What else do they need, bro? Can can another team come up? That's all I ask. Can another team come up, man? But let's get to these stats. So, as y'all see, Andre Drummond, he only 27. And he 6'10", 280, so he a big boy, you know what I'm saying? But anyways, this year, he has kind of had a down year, but I still feel like he is criminally underrated. No, he's averaging 17.5 points. Um, and this is something that worries me. He's a, he's a player with really strong strengths, but really strong weaknesses. No, like I said, 27, I mean 17.5 points, but he, here's one of these big weaknesses. 3.2 turnovers and only 2.6 assists. That's bad. That's bad really bad man 1.6 steals which is pretty decent especially for a player of his size 1.2 blocks that's pretty low i like to see that go up to around the 2014 2015 year 1.9 that was pretty good back then but anyways 13.5 rebounds. Now, that's one of his strengths. This man has been averaging down there like 13 or, well, I say 11 or more rebounds most of his career, which is insane. That's one of his strengths. And they're mostly on defensive rebounds, which is, you know, they're pretty much, you're right under the opponent's rim. You know, so that's nothing. But anyways... Some of his weaknesses have been, well, this year anyway, has been his offense. <coughs> hey, it ain't COVID. Sorry, y'all. I'm, I'm, that was just a slight little cough. It ain't COVID, though. But anyways, from two, he's been averaging 48%. And just his field goal percentage overall has been lower than average at 47%. That's actually the lowest of his career, as you guys can see. So he has been struggling. And the sad thing is he's been averaging the most field goal attempts, and his field goal is so low of his career. So with that, what do I really think that this man will provide for the Lakers? Me personally, I feel like he won't provide much for us offensively unless he comes off the bench. And that's crazy me saying him come off the bench because you guys know, you guys know that, actually, let me full screen this. You guys know that I think that our centers are horrible defensively. Not offensively, but defensively. Well, Gasol offensively, yeah, yeah. He just sucks. But Montrez, he just sucks defensively because he's too small. It's not like he don't put in effort. But let's get back to it. Like I said, I feel like he will provide us something defensively because he can guard those bigger centers that we're bound to face in the playoffs, such as Jokic and um, Joel Embiid. And 
um, Rudy Gobert. So I feel like he will help us defensively, but offensively, I feel like he won't really help us at all. No. I know I brought up rebounds with him, that that's his strength. But, and currently, the Lakers, they are, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. They are 14th in defensive, well, not defensive, but rebound in the NBA. So, they're not really too bad. They're like middle of the pack. And me personally, I don't really feel like us getting Andre Drummond will really help us get more rebounds unless he's coming off the bench, me personally. Now, the thing that make me worry if he isn't coming off the bench and he's getting all those rebounds, 13 rebounds and things like that, is that if you guys are Lakers fans, you know that we run a lot of, of our offense off just getting the rebound and throwing the ball down the court during the fast break. And you guys seen those assists to turnovers. His shit is horrible. He's averaging more turnovers than assists. And me, if and this me as a Lakers fan, if I see this man, Andre Drummond, grab the rebound and throw a, a full court pass, it will worry me. It will worry me a lot. So, yeah, that's something that that's that's one of the main reasons why I don't really feel like he'll help us offensively. And then, as you guys see, LeBron, he's averaging eight rebounds. Anthony Davis averaging eight rebounds. Those are our two focal points in our team. And, yeah, I don't, I don't know how I feel about him starting for our team and getting all those rebounds because, like I said, we run most of our – not most of our offense, but a lot of our offense comes off, you know, fast break points. And him initiating a fast break is kind of questionable. But with that, that's what I think. I feel like he will help us defensively. Offensively, not so much. But I'll still be excited to get him on our team. What do you guys think? Please like, comment, and subscribe down below. Turn on notifications, all that good stuff. And I'm out. Peace.